What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here, and I'm coming at you with another installment of Grand Theft Auto 3. So, we are not done in Portland for multiple reasons. One's a rampage mission, or the rampage missions, hidden packages, and how can I forget the bitchin' dog foods missions? The name's Chox, Marty Chox. I run the bitchin' dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood-sucking leech. Blood-sucking leech. Okay, so I tried picking up the lawyer earlier, but it dropped. It told me to pick him up right in the middle of triad territory. So this mission could get interesting very quickly. Because... If I have to pick him up where the triads are, this uh, this could be an issue. Open your freaking eyes! Open your freaking eyes! So pretty much this series of missions is for the owner of the Bitchin' Dog Food Company. And pretty much what you have to do is you pretty much have to be his little, his little bitch boy. And... Uh, Get pretty much. Ah, oh, Mr. Trump sent you, did he? So let's go and pay the fellow a visit. Yeah, let's go pay the fellow a visit. You're not gonna be too happy when you get there, though. Yeah. Literally had to go right across the street to pick him up. Why couldn't he just walk there? Probably could use the exercise. All right. And so tip number two was a hell of a lot better. For obvious reasons. Let's go pay him a visit. Get your hands off me off! Oh. Take the car to the crusher to get rid of the evidence. Get out of the car. Man, I know how to do the crane operation. I've done it before. I've done it before. Just once, though. Oh, you've got to be freaking... Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay. I was about to be pissed. Okay. What good is it without a third attempt or something, huh? Damn mafia. The damn mafia. Get out of the car, well. You guys are gonna see a crusher. And that's what a crusher looks like. Now we gotta go do another mission for him. I need a car. That was a car I probably could have used. Damn foreigners. Damn foreigners. Alright, I guess I'll take this other bobcat then. Imagine how much I hate the mafia. Especially the ones with shotguns. Like that asshole. But bro, I'm trying to get out of your territory as fast as I can. You don't have to be a jerk. Open your freaking eyes. Open your freaking eyes. Okay. Next one. The thieves. I hired some thieves to break into my apartment and steal some stuff so I could claim on the insurance, as you do. 
Cause claiming stuff is stolen to uh, get insurance money on it is is the right way to do that. I love how I just have like a little little gallery going on right now with the cars in front. That's funny. Young man. Afternoon, fellas. Take them back to the bitch and dog food. And you can only do these missions like a certain time during the day, uh, between 9 and 19 hours. And Marty's like, yeah, come on in. I'll get you a cut of your money. Easy there, partner. Whoa! Put what it down. Not? Come on, put it down. Get the car resprayed and get rid of any evidence. Okay. Yeah, Marty must have a lot of cars. I mean, the guy's, you know, struggling with finances. So you would think that he would just have one vehicle, but no. That's where all of his money's going. So the story pretty much is, is Marty's going through financial problems because there's been a ban on dogs in uh, Liberty City. So pretty much that's why he's struggling financially, which kind of sucks if you think about it. That, that sounds terrible. Bring the car back to the pick. It's just like, yeah, let's uh, let's have a business, and with that business, let's have it taken away from you because there decides to be a, a ban on, on animals in Liberty City. Which, if you think about it, the Grand Theft Auto games don't really have animals up until like five, where you get chop the uh, the Rottweiler. So. Yeah, it is interesting that they have a, a, a dog food plant, but they have no dogs. Get out of the vehicle. Three grand to whack two dudes. That's fifteen hundred a piece. All right. Uh, we can do this for about one more hour. The wife. The business is gonna go under unless they get a hold of some serious cash soon. My wife has an insurance policy, and all she's ever been to me is a hole in my pocket. I've left the car in the usual place. Go and pick up my wife from Classic Nails and bring her back to the factory. Damn, Marty. I mean, you talk about cutting dead weight in your life. No pun intended. But this dude is just... Anybody that's ever wronged him, he's just gonna... Pay some random dude to go take care of him. That random dude being myself. I'll go pick up my wife at the nail salon. Party, life. 
Woof. Marty wants to see me. Well, it better be quick, because I have to get my hair done. Hmm. Oh, you random stranger picking me up in my husband's car? Oh, my husband wants to see me. He'll take me right to him. It's like those things, those like videos that they had us watch when we were kids. Like if a stranger like tells you, oh, your mom's in the hospital. Get in the car quick. We gotta go see her. It's like never trust anybody. When they say that. This one is like, oh, my husband wants to see me. Okay, I'll get in the car with you, random stranger. I gotta go get my hair done. I could have picked a better animation or a better character to do this with with her. Marty? Patty! <laughs> Stop! Take the car and dump the evidence in the sea. So that's what, three cars now. Or two cars that we've had to get rid of. One we've had to repaint. Out of our own pocket. It's like, damn, Marty. Take your girlfriend. Don't do it. <laughs> Just push it over the edge. Ah, uh, so we can't do anything with Marty for a little bit, unfortunately. Because we have to, like I said, wait till 9 o'clock to do so. Uh, I'm going to wait for a car or a, a hell no. truck. Ah, uh, hell no. Damn, son, where'd you find this? A yellow pony. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the uh, the rampage mission that's right over there. We're gonna do that one super quick. And if we fail, oh well. If we pass it, on with the show, I guess. It's over here somewhere. I just can't remember where. I think it's in this alley up here. Start getting some of the rampages knocked out. What the? Where's the rampage? It was right here. Was the rampage only there for certain times? Okay, so... Yep, I've been drinking again. Damn. So, what the hell is there supposed to be to do now? Did all the payphone stuff already. I guess we can go save real quick. Go to our safe house. <laughs> My dog just slapped me with one of her chew toys. That was funny. She's like, boom! Hey, back up! Because there's nothing we can really do until we get to a save point and we can't do anything until we get to nine o'clock so we're gonna save a couple times maybe because it's still only five so we'll do another save And we will uh, not have a car. We still have this. Come on. Let's go see Marty again. Good afternoon. And I 
already did the payphone missions. That one's just pretty much if you want to try to break your record, which I could give two flying fucks about my record. I won the race on our first attempt recording, so that's all I care about. Yeah, we're going to St. Mark's. We're going to get shot at. We're going to get shot at. Or not. It's the first time I've gone through St. Mark's and I haven't had any bullets coming my way. Interesting. But yet, when I'm doing a mission, and it's... Ah, oh, there we go. But so when I'm doing a mission, when stuff's crucial, then, uh, then it's a problem. But now that I'm just taking a Sunday stroll, no big deal. Chinatown. Liberty Bagel. And now my dog's crying for some reason. My dog's making a brief appearance in this video because she's, uh... Because it's, it's a bitchin' dog food mission, you know? So. Oh, God. I literally just came right around that corner. That triad's like, boom. still going to be there? Are they going to be gone? No! Well, one of them is. A triad shooting at me. Her lover! Damn, I'm in trouble. Turns out my wife was seeing some guy I owe money to. Uh -huh. He's got real angry, and he's looking for payback. I've agreed to see him. He thinks I'm going to pay him off. But my guess is Liberty's dogs are going to get yet another flavor this month. Uh... What? What? He, 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 he's feeding the dogs humans? That's a uh, new development for me. I didn't know that I was aiding. And dogs getting served up humans. Yeah, and uh, today's been kind of annoying, guys. I'll, I'll give you a little personal story here. Uh, there have been telemarketers calling me all day. All day. So, okay, not really telemarketers. They're scam calls, which, you know, the same thing. Tomato, tomato. And they've called me 12 times today on 12 different numbers. And my mom uh, texted me and told me, don't answer the phone. I said, okay. And she told me what it was. Is uh, There's a new Apple update. And with that update, apparently there's a... Okay, I'm going to show that creep me the word business. Business. Um, so, what uh, the, they're doing is it's like they're calling to tell you that your iCloud has been compromised and they need your information to get into your iCloud to make sure that you can get it back. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I'll take my chances. You drive like a puppy. You trap like a pussy. So, yeah, whatever. Hey, it's Marty. It's my click and build jersey. Carl, uh, hi. Uh, I uh, I need more time to get your money. But if you just step into my office, it's far too late for that, Marty. You had your chance, but now I'm taking over the business. Loser! <laughs> And there goes Marty. But, uh, yeah. So, that's that's it for Marty. Obviously, you can't do missions for a dead guy. And that has one shot in it. Can't do missions for a dead guy. So, uh, that's it for Marty. I guess the rampages are gone. Like, they don't, they don't show back up. I, I gotta do more research with that. But... Yeah, so guys, that's everything for Marty. Um, rest in peace. Poor guy. He was trying to, uh, to fuck the system, and the system fucked him, so. Shame. And uh, my garage here needs a, a car, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this Bobcat in there. And then we're going to call it installment. But, yeah, so the uh, telemarketer call... I did pick up one of them, 
And uh, I said, hello. Hello. And there was nobody on the other line. Nobody talking. And then just out of nowhere, an automated message said, goodbye. And then hung up. I said, hello. Uh -huh, hello. Uh, excuse me? So, uh, I know it's going to be months later, but you know, be on the lookout for that kind of crap. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead. Put the bobcat in here. It's on fire. It's okay. And, uh, yeah, we're going to call that an installment, guys. Thank you all so much once again for dropping by. You guys are awesome. And always remember my little piglets. Colin Porkchop loves you all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.